So it's week seven in essay writing for university and this week you are going to be beginning module four which is called excellent essays and this week and next week the topic as part of that is information literacy. So you'll be aware that there's still uh, half of the course to go and it seems like we're in the last module in the study guide. So that should tell you something. Um, you are going to spend the second half of this course, so the next six weeks, working through this single module, module four. And that uh, includes completing two assignments. So this module uh, takes you through a lot of work and a lot of detail to do with essay writing uh, and it culminates in you preparing and writing and submitting uh, a full-blown research essay and that's assignment four. Uh, before you do that though you will complete assignment three which is called the annotated bibliography um, and so this week is really all about you understanding how the rest of this course works and fits together in terms of those two assignments and what's left for you to cover uh, and then you're going to actually get started on both of the assignments really but in the first instance we're looking most closely at assignment three as it's coming up next. So let's have a look at how that's going to work. So the first thing that you need to understand is how uh, assignment three and assignment four are connected together. And there's a um, separate video in this week's Moodle topic that explains um, the connection between them and why in many ways as soon as you start assignment three you're actually also working your way towards assignment four. Um, but probably the clearest connection between assignment three and assignment four is that their topic is the same and I've put the topic here on the slide uh, so you're working with the same topics and issues across both assignments and so the topic is the Australian lifestyle has created some problems for the natural environment discuss two of these problems and the way they are being addressed so that's your topic for assignment three and it's also your topic for assignment four and so whatever you um, choose to focus on in assignment three um, will be the same focus for assignment four so what you're going to do this week is actually begin by looking at that assignment question and choosing the two problems uh, that the Australian lifestyle has caused for the natural environment that you want to write about and you're going to stick with those two problems for assignment three and assignment four. So you may be thinking then well how do I choose these two problems? Um, there's lots of problems that the Australian lifestyle has caused for the natural environment. Activity 4.1 in the study guide will help you because it works through how to analyze that topic question and this is an absolutely essential key skill not just for essay writing for university but for any writing subject where you get presented with an essay topic or a report topic like that so you need to complete that this week and then you need to look at activity for two which asks you to sort of cluster or brainstorm your prior knowledge about the Australian lifestyle and the natural environment and that will help you to decide on the two problems that most interest you to write about. So if at the end of completing those two activities in the module you're still stuck for ideas there's other places that you can look and there's a little bit of advice here for you. Firstly, uh, there's a link in the week seven Moodle topic here that has a number of ideas and articles that you might like to skim through uh, and see what they're about. Um, but the other thing is you need to understand in the end it doesn't really matter which problems you choose. You just have to decide on them because the point is to choose some topics that you're going to be able to research and find resources about 
and that will help you to write a good research essay. So just as in um, our previous assignment, you don't have to be in love with the topic, it doesn't have to be your favourite thing in the whole world, but it has to be something that will allow you to do a good job. So if you pick something that's quite obscure, um, you're going to find it difficult to find good academic resources um, that you can base your essay on. Um, so pick something that you know you're going to be able to research and that you're going to be able to write about. So this week you should also get prepared for the rest of the course by downloading and uh, maybe also printing out the complete task sheets for both assignment 3 and assignment 4. Read through them this week and ask questions for clarification. So if you're not quite sure what an annotated bibliography is, that is covered in next week's material, in week 8's material, but feel free to ask some questions because um, that's assignment 3. And then the other thing you need to do is um, scan ahead through module 4 and you need to know um, which let's go activities you will have to submit with your research essay. So assignment 4 you submit um, two things. One is the completed essay and the other is some of the activities that are in the module. You don't submit all of them and they're very clearly listed on the assignment um, task sheet and then throughout the module as well. So this week you need to become very clear about where you're heading in the rest of this course uh, so you're not getting behind and that you can stay on schedule as we get into the nitty-gritty of things next week. So, in summary, make sure that you've completed activities 4.1 and 4.2. Make sure that you've chosen your two problems in relation to our topic question. Make sure that you've got the assignment task sheets printed out and that you're clear about what's required. And, most importantly, as always, ensure that you're asking questions as you continue. So, all the best with getting started with Module 4 this week and we look forward to um, working towards Assignment 3 with you.